Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and welcome back to the Aspirations Challenge. Um, in this episode, we are going to have Kai age into a child, which I'm very excited for. He only has, oh, it says he has zero days. Okay, I thought he had one or two for sure, but that's, that's weird. I feel like I played through a full day, and I didn't really mean to. Okay, well, let's have Chloe make his birthday cake. Um, Mike already left for work, so he's going to miss the whole thing. Uh, but I don't want to wait because I am very excited. Uh, so Kai is playing with his blocks for the very last time, apparently. And he does have the Sulani Mana trait, which I find really interesting because this uh, trait has been passed down for probably like seven generations. It could be even more than that. Let me just see. Because um, this, yeah, Nox had it. Uh, Kayla had it. Um, no, not Maria. Kato definitely had it. And I think it was one more Jada. It may have started with Jada because her mom, Olive, and her dad, Jace, were from Sulani, I think. Yeah, I think it started with Olive. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it looks like I think he's the seventh generation to have this trait. So I'm excited that that is sticking around and he's going to have it for... At least this generation, and we'll see about the next one. I don't see why they wouldn't all have it if, you know, like why it wouldn't trickle down for the remaining remainder of the challenge. Because, I mean, this bloodline, it's not going anywhere. He's going to have um, a biological child who will have a biological child. I just, I don't see how that could be sort of washed out of the bloodline at any point. Um, okay, so we're going to, where are you going with that? No, 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 no. Oh, she wants to go to work. Uh, yeah, she has a part-time job now. Um, can't add candles there. Can we add candles there? Yes, we can. So we'll age him up and then she can go off to work. We do need the money. So, yeah, it's kind of important. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Why can't I? There we go. Okay, help Kai blow out the candles. I think she really does want to go to work. And of course we're late, so we're getting a phone call that we're late. Well, it's our kid's birthday, like, come on. <laughs> a little slack would be appreciated. Uh, hey sweetie, you want to come over? Got anyone to introduce us to? Uh, no, why would he say that? Oh, has Kato not met his grandson? Or not Kato, Knox. <laughs> wow, not Kato. Kato's been gone for a while. Okay, so Kai aged up, selected an aspiration and trait. Okay. We're going to randomize his very first trait. He's a creative sim. Okay, that's really good because uh, there's so many possibilities for a creative sim. So we'll obviously give him the creativity aspiration. I love that for him, though. Um, I'm just going to read this over one last time because I know I've seen it a million times, but I want to see how it can pertain to Kai. These sims tend to be inspired, can share creative ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time. Okay, so I'm going to need some ideas on how Kai can be creative. Um, we could probably, I mean, he could be into music. He could be into painting, writing. Like, there's so many uh, different options. So I need to send Chloe to work right now. And then as for Kai, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change his look a little bit because that is just not working for me. I, how can I plan out of it? Yeah, I guess. I don't normally do this, but I just feel like that hairstyle is not suiting him at all. And I want to change it to something that suits his personality a little bit more. Um, okay, so they really did a better job on this, by the way. Like, you can see the texture in this hairstyle. I don't use it that often, but um, yeah, for him, it's, it's obviously not going to work for him. But they finally fixed that. I'm going to go with this for now. Because that's what he had as a ch as a toddler. So I'll keep that for now. I'll probably give him another makeover after this episode. And I'll redo his bedroom as well. I always like to do that after I've wrapped up an episode. Just because I personally don't like watching Create a Sim or um, any sort of like building <laughs> that's not sped up. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Mostly just the storyline. Okay. Uh, so what can we do? Here, have some cake. <laughs> Why not? Nobody's home. He's been left alone for the first time. He's going to have some cake. 
And then I'm gonna, I'll probably just throw the rest in the garbage. I, I just, I never keep the cake because you put it in the fridge and then your Sim doesn't actually get full when they eat it. Do we not have a garbage can on this entire lot? We don't have one in our kitchen. We don't have one anywhere. Oh wait, there is one on the deck here. Yeah, we just need one for the kitchen, like a smaller one. Okay, he could use some social. And since it's Friday, it's not like he's going to be going to school and meeting friends. So we should see if there's anyone kind of just outside the house. I mean, there's like this old lady, but I was hoping he could find another kid to play with. Probably not. They're probably all at school right now. So that's not an option. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Oh, our feast! I forgot it again. I'm really bad for that. Here, go grab that, Kai. I think... I don't know if it's going to be good still. I I, I had uh, um, Chloe put that on the barbecue a while ago. So I don't know if it's still going to be edible. Um, it says it's got nine hours until it's spoiled. So it's good for now. I'm going to put this in the fridge. And let's just have him go swimming. I don't know what else to do. I mean, swimming in the open ocean when none of your parents are home, probably not that good of an idea, but things are pretty casual over here in Sulani. He can just do what he wants. And then Chloe should be home in about an hour. I mean, this is what happens when you leave a child alone when you live at the ocean. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna get in it. He's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, so I do want to find him some creative sort of outlets, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm just excited he got that creative trait. I think that's going to be really interesting. Um, also, he has this, the giver, charismatic and inspiring leaders able to mesmerize their listeners. Popular hobbies for the ENF include organizing social events, reading, the arts, museum, uh, storytelling, listening to music, writing, and gourmet cooking. So I don't know how he got that. That's obviously with some kind of mod that I have, but I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Oh, it's really windy today. Let's go over here and maybe build a sand sculpture. Uh, Chloe is home from work. She made 151 simoleons. Not the best day at work, but that's okay. Let's grab some mail. Like I've been saying, pretty much since she got this new job, we're not in it for the money. <laughs> she just wants to be able to pay her bills and save a little extra and that's it. Um, let's build a sand sculpture with Kai over here. Even though it's not that nice of a day. Or not. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then I don't think that Mike is home for quite a while. He's home at about three o'clock. Um, so as you guys probably already know, since you've been watching the previous episodes, or at least I assume you have been, um, I've been considering having chloe and mike not be together and i mean i do i really like mike a lot i think and i think they have a really good relationship but there just seems to be something missing between those two and again i can't pinpoint exactly what that is i don't know how to put it into words uh so i'm thinking about having them possibly break up i think what it really comes down to is um I think they just want different things. Like Chloe doesn't really want to get married, uh, at least not right now or anytime soon. And she does not want more kids, again, at least not right now. I think she just wants to enjoy her life and things are good the way they are. She wants to be able to travel to Mount Como as much as possible. And it's hard to do that when you have a big family. And marriage just really is not her thing. So, and maybe Mike doesn't know that. They've been engaged since before Kai was born. And um, she kind of got suckered into that engagement and it kind of caught her off guard. The whole thing was just kind of a giant misunderstanding and somehow she found herself engaged. So I think that he would be pressuring her to get married and she doesn't really want to. So the whole thing has just been quite stressful. Mike is probably also pressuring her about having baby number two because he wants to have a family. Uh, and she, or a big family at least, they do have their one son. They are a family, but he wants a big family and she does not. So I think that's what it comes down to is they have different uh, desires, even though they are very, very close. If you look at their relationship, there's like so much love and friendship there, but I just, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I haven't been feeling it for a while. I thought that I would eventually change my mind, but we're just not there yet. So 
I think Chloe is considering talking to Mike about all of this and possibly taking a break. She also doesn't really know what it's like to be on her own. Her and Mike started dating when she was a teenager. He moved in with her shortly after she bought this house and she hasn't been on her own before. So maybe she just needs some time to be by herself and see how that goes. It seems a little bit cold, especially because Mike um, is such an active part in Kai's life. And Mike also wants to live in Henbrook on Bagley. He's an animal enthusiast and he gets sad when he's not around animals. And again, that's just, that's not, that's not her thing. She does not want to be at Henford on Bagley. For her, it's either Mount Komorebi or uh, Sulani. Those are the only two places she's interested in being. And Mike does not like Mount Komorebi. He doesn't like, uh, I guess maybe the cold. I don't know. He's just not interested in the winter activities. So they just have very different interests. Uh, okay, so Kai is still out here building his little sand sculpture. Chloe is going to the washroom. Who is this? Ryland Walter. I'm going to send him home. That could be a distant cousin because of the last name Walter, but I don't know. Okay, so we're going to wash some laundry. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to have Mike and Chloe have a bit of a discussion. Even though it feels really weird to, to talk about even ending this, but... I don't know. I've did, there's something missing here and I need to figure out what that is. And I think she needs to figure what, out what that is on her own. So they're going to have a deep conversation so she can tell Mike that she doesn't really want to get married. She doesn't want more kids. Um, okay. He kind of walked away from that whole thing. Oh no. He's just sitting down. Okay. He's listening intently. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured that I should come see you before I left. Oh, it's Noel. See, this is not a good time. <laughs> it's really not. They're having like a full on sit down conversation. Oh, what's Mike saying? Oh, he's telling her a joke. It's really not the time for a joke. Um, discuss interests. I don't, I don't want them to fight per se. I mean, they could have like a minor argument. Um, they could argue about parenting i guess but no no full-on fighting i don't think these two would ever fight kai can take a bath okay so yeah it got a little bit heated <laughs> just a little bit i think what i'm gonna do is tell or ask mike to just be friends that way uh, because that's the kind of breakup, I shouldn't really call it a breakup. I, I could call it a break. I don't know. I don't know what to call this, but um, I just, I don't see these two ever fighting and losing their friendship. I think that if they were to break up or take some time away from each other, it would be out of a, I don't know, from a place of love, I guess. And they would not lose their friendship over this. Okay, let's see how this conversation goes. Um, yeah, see, she looks angry, and I don't know why. Oh, they're still arguing. Okay, well, yeah, they lost a tiny bit of friendship there, but not that much. Also, the interaction of her asking to just be friends was canceled for some reason, so I'm going to try that again. I don't know how he's going to respond to that. Chloe and Mike have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. So does that mean they're no longer engaged? Because that's what I was hoping for. Um, closer from happy memories and they're just good friends. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to see there. And now Kai has um, sat down. So they could talk to him about what's happening. Alec from Dover. Oh, why is he yelling at Kai now? Oh, it seems like Mike's just not in a good mood. He's feeling angry. Okay, well, I mean, the three of them are sitting down having this conversation. And I'm glad that they didn't have, like, a big blowout fight. That's really not their style. I, I still think they're going to be really close friends. Mike will be over here a lot hanging out with Kai. Um, they're just going to take some time apart and figure out what they, what they want to do. And that does feel quite realistic as well. 
Um, so I'm going to have Kai grab some food. Mike is going to move out just for now. We're going to invite him over quite a bit so he can hang out with Kai. And like I said, Chloe and Mike are still really good friends. So there's no, there's nothing awkward going on there. Um, I always have a hard time with this. Maintain, move into new household. Okay, Mike Stacy has moved into the Stacy household. So he is on his own. He no longer lives here. Uh, and maybe he'll come back. I just, I want to figure some stuff out. Let me know what you guys think about this though. Do you think that Chloe and Mike will get back together? Do you think they'll kind of go their separate ways? Um, they just haven't been apart since they were teenagers. So I kind of think it's healthy for them to figure some stuff out and see what they want to do. Uh, I'm going to have Kai maybe uh, pay for new toys. Talk about school, even though he has never been to school. Inside joke. He just needs some social. There we go. They can just chat for a little bit. And then I don't know what they're going to do tomorrow. Oh, I really do want to go to Mount Como. We could go for just like one uh, night. Because I don't want to miss the festival. And I think there's a festival tomorrow. Oh, Aubrey's here. Okay, that's weird. I didn't invite you. Go home. <laughs> okay, Kai, uh, maybe clean up these dishes. Chloe, we could probably do some laundry and then go to bed. Uh, yeah, because in the morning, I think it'd be kind of fun if we could just head off to Mount Como. I did place two new rental lots, so there's a place for us to stay. Get a ninja outfit. I don't know what to tell you. What is stinking over here? Oh, there's a plate stuck in this chair. Okay, not ideal. Um, it's only 8.30. That's fine. You know what? Oh, Kai can't sleep there. You know what? That's fine. Uh, he's going to sleep in Chloe's bed. I don't know where else he could sleep. I'm sending them both to bed so that we can leave in the morning because uh, that's my main priority. I think there's going to be a festival tomorrow, but we'll check once we get there. You can check the like vacation board. I just like that Chloe's first order of business um, as soon as she's alone, or I guess living alone, is to, to travel to Mount Como. Why are we not going at ultra speed? Speaking of traveling. No, no, it, no. <laughs> Thank you for the food, but no. That's not acceptable. Oh my god. Are this, no, no. Are these people all coming over? Uninvited? There we go. Okay, it was just two of the neighbors that came over. They brought some food. They wanted to hang out. Not going to happen. Um... I mean, I think that's just a Sulani thing. People will just come over with food and then usually you get this event starts called extra food, which is kind of nice because, you know, food's a good thing. I'm actually going to put that in the fridge. I'm not going to say no to that. We almost live off of neighbors bringing us food. But yeah, um, I didn't ask for that. Okay, I don't know if she's going to go back to sleep. Okay, she is. Good. Perfect. And then if she doesn't have vacation time, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe call in sick. Uh, let me just check here. She has two more days of work and she has three days of vacation time. So we're going to take vacation day. The Chloe has taken a vacation day. Enjoy the day. Oh, we will. We're going to go hopefully to a festival in Mount Como if there's one happening. Oh, actually, you know what? Yes, grab some food. I, I shut that down, but I shouldn't have. And I'll grab get Chloe to grab some food, and then we can probably leave after that. Is there any... Oh, yes, there's food in there. And see, Chloe's feeling pretty good. That whole sort of breakup didn't even really register as a breakup, uh, which is kind of what I wanted. I didn't want her to, like, mourn that relationship. I wanted her to feel good about it. Okay, Kai can go to the washroom. What is this? He's feeling energized. Uh, a friend's two cents from friendly advice sentiment. Being around a Sam that cared enough to give helpful advice gives Kai a burst of energy. Okay, that's probably his mom. Okay, let's clean up these dishes before we go because it's going to be really gross. And then we're going to be out of here. Kai's just going to the washroom, I believe. In the really dirty toilet. 
Okay, I don't have time for you and your dishes. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize she was going to sit there forever. Uh, okay, we're going to answer the phone. I'm having a birthday party. Would you like to come? No, I would not. Uh, we're going to take a vacation with just Kai. I mean, I could see, um, sure, he likes fitness. Why not? I could see Mike coming at some point, but Mike doesn't really like uh, Como, and I, it would not be his thing. So I'm hoping to go to this lot right here for one day. So we'll just stay one night. Uh, that should be enough time because I believe the festival is tonight. There may have been one yesterday, but I don't think we got a notification about it. So hopefully it's not every second week. Not that it really matters. We're not behind when it comes to her aspiration at all. We're, we're doing fine. So I'm not that worried about it. Okay, so here we are at our vacation lot. This is built by Simlessly. I just got it from the gallery and it's pretty much ready to go. So what we want to do, I kind of want to pinpoint where we are. Okay, so over here is where we can find out about the festival, which is what I really want to do. Uh, get information on next festival and then see the schedule. Actually, no, just see the schedule. And then Kai, I was hoping he could go sledding. And see if he enjoys doing that. I don't know if that's going to be his thing, but we'll see. We still need to get a festival costume from a vending machine, which we tried to do before and it was tricky. <laughs> we'll see what happens this time. Uh, there are numerous festivals in Mount Komorebi to celebrate. The Festival of Light is held in the Senbamachi Senba neighborhood every other Friday. Oh, it is every other. Okay, that's not good. Um, oh, there is a festival of youth held every Sunday from 10 to 6. Okay, we would need to extend our vacation for that. So I don't know if I'm able to do that from here. I Oh, extend vacation. Um, okay, so we'll do... I don't know what to put here. Because I'm just going to say two days. Because I think that's two days overall, not two more days i i think i'm really not that sure uh so i'm just gonna double check um oh wait what what was not hold on a second i can't remember what the last thing we saw was um let me just double check because i want to be able to go to obviously whichever one is first but uh, oh festival of snow is tonight no today hold on <laughs> I'm really confused now because uh, this is from Saturday, Saturday from 3 to 12. Um, see festival schedule. See, the thing is, I swear I said Sunday before. Man, I'm confused. Every other Friday, every other Saturday. So we already knew that. I hope we're here at the right on the right week. I'm not even sure. Either way, I'm going to have her go and do some sledding because we need to have some fun. Um, we'll go continuously. Also, Kai is back at the house. I just gave him a quick makeover because he kind of needed one. So let me just check here if I can show you guys. Um, so yeah, I did pause my game briefly because I had some time and I put together some new outfits for him, uh, because obviously we haven't done that and I didn't get a chance to do his bedroom because we're on vacation, but I'll do that when we get back. Okay, so Kai. Um, that is one of his outerwear, obviously. For his uh, everyday wear, I actually like his look. It's very different. I didn't just throw together some styled looks like I normally do. I actually kind of took the time here. Um, so he's a creative sim, so I kind of like that he likes to wear different colors. Um, that's his formal uh, athletic sleepwear party wear, which I thought this would suit him for being in Sulani. Also, I gave him some freckles and braces. I don't think you'll be able to see the braces. Sometimes if you zoom out and in, yeah, you can kind of see them there. And then he has uh, two um, swimwear outfits, one for like snorkeling kind of. Uh, not that kids can actually snorkel, but that's okay. Hot weather outfits, he has two. And then that's his cold weather outfit. Um, he has another one too for when he's not like in the snow. Okay, so back in the game, looks like she decided to stop 
um, sledding, which was, is not what I wanted. But what is happening here? Go sledding continuously. Uh, as for Kai, I'm just going to trans, not transport him, teleport him uh, to the ski hill or to the bunny hill because he's kind of far away. And then I'm going to have him go snowboarding continuously. I feel like they could just do some outdoor activities. Chloe needs to have some fun anyway. Oh, and that's really fun. See, like one run down the hill and she's already feeling so much better. As for Kai, I do want to get a photo of his first time snowboarding down the bunny hill. All right, let's see if we can get a good one. I think these are usually really good like action shots that you can get. Perfect, okay. And a hard crash at the end. You know what, that's why he's practicing on the bunny slope because you just never know how this is gonna go. But he's having fun at least, so that's good. Um, looks like she's having fun too. And if the festival is today, which I don't think it is, uh, we'll get a notification about it, I think. Just keep going down. And I think I'll actually have her come over here and grab some food at this. Never mind. So strange that a Saturday at 1130, this food stall is not open. I just, the schedule here is really weird. I'm going to have Kai come over here. Maybe they could just play in the snow for a little bit. We could also just head back to the vacation lot because they're actually, you know what we should do is head over to the bathhouse because that's, that's always available. Um, oh, wait, we need a loading screen for that, don't we? Or do we? Hold on. Yeah, we do. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Forget it. I For some reason, I thought we were already on that lot, but we're not. Okay, come over here. Come over here. I'm just canceling everything. She wasn't stopping what she was doing, so that was kind of weird. Um, play in the snow. Annie Clark, I we've heard stellar things about you, so we'd like to offer you an interstellar opportunity. How would you like to be an astronaut? We'd even boost you up a few ranks so you could start as a low orbit specialist, rank five. That is really tempting, but no. Um, if she was someone that was motivated by money, uh, that would definitely be an option for her, but she's not. She's happy with her part-time job as a lifeguard. It, that's just, that's what we're going to stick with. That is a good offer though. I like that he's playful. He's just having a good time. We're making snow angels, uh, snow pals. Just kind of hanging out. I'm mostly just waiting to see if this festival will start today. I don't think that it will. Um, but if it is, it's going to be at 3 o'clock. I feel like I didn't do a very good job checking that schedule. Um, there are numerous festivals in Mount Komorebi. The Festival of Light is held in the Senbachi neighborhood every other Friday from 6 to 1. The Festival of Snow, I think that's the one that happens right here. And that is on Saturdays. So if this one's happening today, it'll be in about 45 minutes. Okay, let me just check her aspiration. Um, wear a festival costume from a vending machine. I can't believe how difficult that was. Like we, I really put in a solid effort to do that and it did not work. Well, there you go, there's your snowman, Etta Clark. Jayla Franks and I were planning to spend some time together. Should I do it? I think you should go for it. I don't care. I'm completely impartial here. Who is this guy? Trent Franks. That's interesting because we just met or we just talked to Jayla Franks. Let's go talk to Trent. I mean, I feel like maybe she could date. Uh, so, I mean, her and her boyfriend are not together anymore. So, I mean, her dating is a possibility. Oh, good. The festival is starting. Okay. We are going to Oh, it's going to set up right here. That is perfect. So this Trent character, I mean, if he wasn't wearing that mask, I'd feel a lot better. I do, I can, I really can see, um, why have I forgotten? Oh, Chloe, I forgot her name. That was scary. I can see her dating a little bit. Um, nothing too serious, but... 
I mean, Trent is definitely an option. Uh, he's in Mount Komorebi, so he obviously has an interest in being here. Um, so they kind of already share that in common. Okay, we gotta focus on our aspiration, though. We need to wear a festival costume from a vending machine. Um, purchase and wear festival snow outfit. Okay, you see me clicking this. It's 300 simoleons. <laughs> We need to do this to complete her aspiration, or at least this milestone. There we go. Okay, it worked. Perfect. All right, not loving the footwear. It's not ideal. Um, she is on the final part of this aspiration. We need to socialize at the onsen bathhouse, make a wish on or collect a forest spirit, and take it slow and become emotionally mindful. So, um, we're going to go grab some food now. I think we'll just have tricolor dango. I'm going to have Kai go to the washroom. And yeah, they can just kind of hang out at the festival. Oh, now we've got fireworks. I love that they don't care what time fireworks go off at. It's 4.30 and they're just going for it. And then I'm going to have him sit here if possible. Or not. Can you leave? Thank you. <laughs> he responded to that. The, the timing was really perfect. Okay, just stay sitting there if you can. I wanted to get a picture of them together, but it looks like this guy's coming back to sit down. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to get a picture of them at the festival. Still not loving that angle, though. Um, you know what? Let's have them go all the way over here. I mean, they're here. We might as well get a good photo of them. Her footwear is so ridiculous, though. Oh, my God. Getting Sims to pose is sometimes not even worth it. Uh, okay, let's see if this will work. Good enough. That's good enough. Okay, what I wanted to do also... Uh, oh, Trent... I fancy some security. Want to come get some at the romance festival? No. Oh, he's got makeup on. I like it. Uh, no, because we're on vacation with our kid and it seems weird. Uh, so I'm going to pass on that. Also, I'm going to have her come over here and meet this Declan fellow. I mean, she didn't really mean to come here to meet all these guys, but it just seems like a good opportunity if she wants to possibly date. So we're going to meet Declan. Um, we're going to flatter him, tell him a dramatic story, and attempt flirting. I don't know if that'll go well. That kid needs a toque. His head looks freezing. <laughs> that looks very, very cold. Talk about the sunny weather. This isn't really going anywhere. Well, I mean, kind of. They have a friendly relationship. But he's not into the flirting. Good to know. Uh, so I'm going to leave this episode here, I think. We didn't end up needing to extend our vacation. We can stay for a little bit longer. I'll probably have them stay till tomorrow night or maybe even Monday. Um, and then we could also... We could finish her aspiration. I'm just not in a hurry because Kai is still so young. So we can just kind of explore the story a little bit. Um, see if she can maybe get a date for when she goes back home. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.